Well, okay, here's the next grouping. Oh my god, these four are the only ones left. Uh, I'm gonna go from right to left. <laughs> I do not. But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit. What the? Oh, uh, gee, thanks. Call me a piece of shit. Okay, so here we go. The first case: a deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly silent fart. <laughs> Woo! Silent but deadly. A, a boy and a girl spending the night together? What? It's unwholesome. Oh, he thinks this Sakura's a boy. But I'm a girl. You are? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You didn't know. But maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? Haha, <laughs> what the fuck? According to the file, there appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. The first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every murder. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> Boob lust. <laughs> Boob lust! <laughs> uh, no. It's actually blood lust. Be sure to check her entire body. And I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Chihiro is a fucking kid, a dude. Her entire body? I know you say that, but... What? <laughs> this is... It, what is this? My god, it's huge! It's like a foot long! Look at this thing! Snakes around, she has to wrap it around her, her, her waist and her leg! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Yep. Not possible. It's not possible. Sakura's eyes were staring wildly at Chihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This... this girl is... Is what? Is a boy! Dun dun dun! <laughs> ah, I see. So, she was actually a he. Interesting. Thank you for confirming this fact. What? <laughs> I like the reaction. Oh, what you're saying is the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black. I I don't even have a tracksuit. Because <laughs> the exercising sucks. <laughs> I have a white tracksuit. Actually, I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it. <laughs> I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened without warning. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes, but it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. Nope. It was the blinding light of despair. Bear! Is this it? Hold on. Let me try this again. Of despair! Let's discuss the specifics of the victim. Yes, let's. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. It's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. But Kyoko's standing right there. <laughs> Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails, don't you think? Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? They're complicated like that. Oh my god. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know women, it's you. <laughs> well, then that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. Which should have been obvious since she's standing right here. <laughs> The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such uh... a decent word? Here it is. Yes. Yes. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special Ooh, rule. We have to do it naked. So listen up. 
the, the culprit's stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? No, she had to be in the bio lab. If she was, she would have been totally decomposed. Just like your brain. <laughs> well, that means me and Master can get married. And then we'll give me a little bit, a little jewel of a baby. That's enough. Oh my god. Please stop. That would be a greater horror than anything I've encountered so far. <laughs>